What's up, my loves and fellow creatives? Let me know if you can hear me in the chat. And if you can't hear me, let me know where it gets happening in from. I'm doing something special right now. I'm trying not to touch too much because I'm live streaming and I'm packaging this file right now, just hoping that it does what I need it to do. So we're about to see in just a moment. In the meantime, in between time, y'all, go ahead and let me know where you're tapping in from. And uh, this should also be a good old warm up to let you know today. OK, I have some help. I have customer happiness here with me to help me tally the winner for today. So I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now that the more people that call out your name when I ask who sent you. The person with the most. Shout outs will win one of two things. You can win a spot in the grad party challenge. Or if you already have your grad challenge ticket, you can win $400 in an eight academy credit that can be applied towards any upgrades, um, your automizer, your uh, membership, anything that you wanted to go towards. OK, so tonight I'm doing that for the person, the one person that has the most people. And if, if we tie, y'all just got to keep inviting people to there's no more tie. All right. And that is going to happen at any sporadic moment. So y'all make sure you go ahead and invite people now because you don't know when I'm going to ask the question of who sent you. All right. So if you have all already shared this to a group, let me know what the name of your group is so I can shout you out. Um, that way I am also drawing some attention to your group too. Okay. All right. Let's see who we got. Ashley Hammond, Louisiana. What's up, my love? TMP Customs, Alamo. Okay. Win favor, Missy, North Carolina. Come on and stand up. Take your shirt off. Or not, you know, we could just twist it around ahead, spin it like a helicopter and then show it off and sell it. How about that? All right. <laughs> Angela, how you doing? Jacksonville, Florida. Let's go. All right. All right. All right, y'all. So I'm preparing for this challenge next week. How many of y'all are already in the challenge? If you're already in the challenge, go ahead and put a 100 in the chat. Give me 100 in the chat. <laughs> Come on, let me know who is already in the challenge. Because in that person, you're up for, in the running for $400. So yes, you get your challenge ticket back, probably double because some of you all got in at the early bird price. Okay, Darlene, I see you, I see you. Now, who does not have a ticket to the challenge? If you do not have a ticket to the challenge, it's okay. Just say me, just say me, me. Real short, real simple. If you do not have your ticket to the challenge, are you going to be on vacation? What's vacation? Grand season vacation? Oh, Melissa, you don't have your ticket? Okay. Okay. TMP, I see you, baby. Ashley, Angela. Okay. Andrea. All right. Well, I'm giving y'all an opportunity to get your ticket today for free. And TMP Customs and Darlene, I'm giving you an opportunity to get $400 credit. Okay. That means that at some random time today, I'm going to ask you who sent you. And then the audience has to let me know, hey, it was Angela. It was Andrea. It was Sonia. It was Melissa. Okay. Whoever um, has the most call outs is going to win. So make sure that you share this YouTube video because they got to be on YouTube for me to see their names. So go ahead and Oh, um, yeah. Put them on YouTube. So then that way I can see their names. OK, because for some reason on uh, Facebook, sometimes I can see the names and sometimes I cannot, depending on their settings. All right. Thank you, TMP Customs. Just share 19th anniversary. OK, that is definitely deserving of a vacation, my love. Please take your time. <laughs> All right. So obviously we hear about party and um, we're talking not just all things party, we're talking party favors, of course, but we're also talking about what does your client need for graduation party season that maybe they do or don't know that you offer. And maybe you don't even know that you offer these things. Okay. 
Um, so I'm going to be going over a couple of these products tonight. I want you all to tell me what products you plan on offering for the uh, graduation party season. Because we did we did our grad products already. However, I still have some of those in here, like the uh, T-shirts, graduation stoles, the toppers, the notebooks, pens, all of the um, all of the the graduate gifts, and then the products that the family is going to need. We already did those. And if you need that, the challenge replay, I don't know if y'all know this, but the challenge replay comes with the gold, all of the gold assets. If y'all remind me, I'll show you what those are so that you can follow along with that and catch up, get your Shopify store ready for grad season, build out your graduation page, go ahead and upload those graduation products and you have access to the gold. So you'll have access to all of the products um, in that gold automizer. And then also, um, I gave you all a lot of assets as far as email assets. I wrote all your emails for you. All the city laid them out, outlined them. I wrote them all for y'all based on her outline. Um, I also gave you a text message, copy and paste, plug and play. I gave you all um, the... Um, the 30 days of content went ahead and helped you all prepare that as well. So that is plug and play. And then I gave you all lots of assets. So I want to make sure y'all are using those things. Otherwise, you know, I may not give out gold assets anymore because if you're not using them, what you doing? All right. So, hey, so you came over to YouTube. All right. All right. Um, let's see. So the t-shirt spot, you may want to do our live class so that we can see what's going on with you. We're doing a live class on Saturday, um, for automizer in action where we show you and make sure that you set it up on your computer, right. And everything, um, so that you don't have any issues. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, what I'm going to do here is do a little flip here. First, I'm going to check to see, what I got going on here. I want to go ahead and change this one out. Make sure that it actually changed it out. Mm -mm, there we go. So, yep, I was just making sure that it changed everything here that I needed to change. And the only thing is not going to change my word here, party. I didn't use a smart color there, but I could change that if I want to. And then this video is, is actually a screenshot of the um, of the banner of the assets that I gave y'all. So I want to see if y'all are using that stuff. I'm going to actually go ahead and pull that up so I can change what this banner looks like. So basically, this would be the banner for that Shopify store. And then all of these products updated automatically, including the colors of the balloons, the color of the cupcake, uh, icing, the uh, chip bags, all of that stuff. But what I need to know is what do you what do you plan on selling for the graduation party season? I need to know this because if there's some things that you're not thinking about selling, like you're not thinking about doing banners or yard signs or posters where the posters could also be used as the um, as the welcome sign. Uh, if you're not doing fans and they're doing a lot of outdoor events for graduation, a lot of like barbecues, um, outdoor uh, type of festivities, even graduation itself, a lot of times is outdoors. So I want to know, are y'all doing the fans? And even if you're not doing the custom cut fans, are you at least doing these collapsible circle fans? Let me know. Um, the money card holder. Are y'all doing that? Are you doing invitations? OK, invitations are really easy, even if you're not printing them yourself. Are you doing invitations so um, they could be printed? I say I don't say printed or digital. I say printed and digital because you have some folks that are used to the old school. Hand me my invitation, mail it to me. And then you have other folks that you can just literally send them an invitation via phone and they are extremely happy with that. Um are you doing yard signs? Are you doing any of the party favors? And when I say party favors, I mean like some of the products like the um, like the chip bags. Are you doing gift boxes? Are you doing Rice Krispie treats, water bottles, um, Capri Suns, Hershey bars, any of the um, any of the food items? Are you doing any of those? And then are you doing anything like the plates, cups, any of those type of products? OK, so these are 
um, kind of like your, your flatware type of things as well. And then gift bags, buttons, which the buttons are uh, a big hit for the get togethers as well, because not everybody's going to wear or even uh, want a t-shirt. Some people want to dress up, but they might wear a button. Are y'all doing any of those products? Uh, no, we did. We did have a limited discount on the um, automizer in action class for those that did the word auto on a certain thing. But the the actual hands on class is uh, is one ninety seven. It's available on the one on one page. But we also have videos that that really go through every single step that you need for the automizer. And I will be taking some of the um, some of the videos and updating them based on some of your systems, whether you have Mac or PC. There's a couple of nuances in there as well. So I'll be updating those videos. All right. So y'all ain't answer me yet. What do y'all plan on making so I can focus on helping y'all make money? All right. So if you're not doing the banners and the invitations and the yard signs, those are huge opportunities. Even this table runner here, y'all. Table runner is a huge opportunity for something you do not have to touch. And the table runner can literally be a banner, okay? It does not have to be fabric. There are suppliers that, that I use that have the fabric table runners, but a lot of times we have to Think outside the box of how a, a client is going to use this stuff. So I've done vinyl banners as table runners. I've even done vinyl banners to wrap an entire table. Um, but what I do is I make sure that um, that I know what the table size is going to be if I'm going to wrap a table. That's important because I've seen people do this and they don't measure and it looks crazy because like the, the table is folded right in the middle of somebody's face and you don't want to do that. So if you do a table runner, you're pretty much safe with the measurements of the table runner, even the one that's inside of the automizer because it's ready to go. All right. And then the backdrops. Uh, so the backdrops, the standard size of the backdrop is an eight foot by eight foot. Of course, that's probably not something that you're going to want to print or make yourself. But the same suppliers that are doing the banners, backdrops, yard signs and the invitations can handle all of this stuff for you. Most of them have a uh, next day or two to three day shipping, but well, basically production time where they can ship it out for you. And it doesn't even have to come to you. It can go direct to your customer. So if you're not doing that, if you are not doing that at the minimum for the party season, you are missing out on a huge opportunity to take your same T-shirt design and turn it into something like this. OK, for the for the party season. So. I'm hoping that you're doing that. I, I think that you all know by now that um, that I'm going to, to put you on the resources to set you up for this season. Um, let's see here. I'm going to go into one of these resources that I don't know if y'all are using. Let's do let's set up this web page here because this is a resource from the last challenge, but we can absolutely set this up to be our new, our new image, but also to make sure that we're promoting for our party. So I'm seeing that not nobody here is, is, is y'all aren't doing party favors. Y'all are not doing party favors. You're not doing anything for the uh, momentous occasion of graduation. Okay. I don't know. Y'all gonna have to tell me something about that. All right. I'm going to go into one of these uh, gold resources here and see if I can update one of these banners here. So if you all got gold, y'all know what I'm talking about right there. I'm going to go into the gold and let's go ahead and update this banner right here on the laptop screen. And I'm so like, you all got this without even needing my help. That's why I'm so impressed. All right. So what you could do, you could update the products on here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab. 
I'm going to do, I guess, the T-shirt because now I want to promote the party. So I'm going to grab some of the elements from here. And let's see, let's grab the stuff that's on the table here. All right, so in my client file folder, I have one for doo, doo, doo. my blue bears. And I'm just going to add some products there. So let's do, um, and y'all, I did not have to save all of these PNGs. These are going to be uploaded to the Shopify store. So my whole goal is to make sure that I have some images that are ready to go. Now, I haven't promoted yet to do invitations, so I want to do those for sure. And basically, because it's a party, I, I need to make sure that I am showing off my party stuff. So let's go ahead and include our balloons, our backdrop. I personally, even if I don't do party favors, like offer the chip bags and water bottles and that sort of thing, I'm still definitely going to do the banner backdrop and then the yard sign because that's really important for, for the occasion as well. And then you can always throw in your t-shirt there. And I'm definitely going to do my invitations. These are things I don't even have to think about because I already have the T-shirt designed. I'm already going to be able to do these things. So I'm just going to pull up my little gold asset here. Zoom in just a little bit. And then I'm just going to drag and drop my assets from here right onto this banner so I can stay cohesive because I already used this uh, this AI model for our grad page setup. So now I want to convince my customers, or not convince, because it's really not convincing. It's more of persuasion. You're going to offer them an opportunity. Hey, if you don't have your party stuff together yet, let me help you with the party. So I'm going to make the balloons here. Stand out a little bit. Make sure my backdrop is behind there. Pull the yard sign in front of everything. And y'all, this is literally what I do when I'm trying to figure out, well, how do I want to display to someone? How do I want to convey to someone how I can help them? OK, so I want you to think of the same thing. You're not selling anything. What you're doing is you're offering someone an opportunity to work with you. You are offering someone a true opportunity. To to ease their pain, they don't want to design this stuff. They are dreading designing this stuff. They are absolutely dreading making any of these products. If they have to go online right now. Yes, they have a website where they can go on right now and they can make these shirts for $12 wholesale themselves. But the problem is they aren't confident or they don't want to design. And maybe they aren't confident with the sizing. Maybe they aren't confident they're going to get the product in time. So a lot of us are sitting here trying to compare ourselves to the people that are nickel and diamond and, and trying to beat the whole industry and cheapen everything. But that's not what you have to worry about if you're what you're offering is quality. What you're offering is solving someone's problem. So we just have to reposition that. So I'm solving a problem here. It's your party. You don't have your invitations. You don't have your shirts. You don't have your banners. You don't have your your signs right now. I got you. All right. So I'm just going to pull this back here. Phone. They can see that little invitation there. All right. All right. Yeah, everything here. And then for this one, what I'm going to do, because I have so much color going on, I'm actually going to do a center print shirt here instead of the all over. 
Let me go grab a center print shirt. I'm just going to drag and drop it like it's hot right here. There we go. So this is starting to look like a party pack. Even though I'm not doing party favors, I'm still positioning myself to be in the mix when it comes to the party. All right, so I got my elements on there. And I'm ready to take this particular banner. I can quick export as PNG. And now I'm ready for this banner to take me to my Shopify store. All right, so we are, we're adding to last challenge because last challenge, we could only do about half of the graduation stuff. Now we're getting into the party side. Now, hopefully you've been doing, you had 30 days to do your marketing. You've had 30 days to get people into your, your email list. And I want to check on y'all for that too. Have you been sending out emails and, and just be even before that, have you been collecting email addresses? And if not, tell me why. Go ahead. If, if you've gotten emails, put drop the number of emails that you have on your email list right now. And if you have not gotten any emails, tell me what's been going on. OK. Go ahead and let me know what's been going on. All right, so I am going to save this to my marketing file. All right, so this banner is going to be for my party. Now, this one, I'm just going with my basic, um, my uh, off, uh, large format printing is what it's called. All right, so this is what I'm going to advertise for large format printing. Ooh, I need to arrange that a little bit over. There we go. There we go. All right, so my, my large format printer or my third party printer is also able to do offset printing, which is where they do the digital invitations. It, well, you can take your digital invitation, turn it into a physical invitation. No, you do not have to print on your own printer at home. Um, you can go ahead and send that off. Also, sending off the signs is easy. I want you all to make this graduation season, this graduation season as easy and as efficient and effective as possible. I really do not want to see you all like hand making a bunch of different things where it's tying you up so much that you can't get a good handle on high level production. Because when the floods come of, of the people who really love your work and want to see it, um, basically in bulk, you want to be prepared to be able to produce those orders and not miss miss the money because you got tied up doing a lot of things that require a lot of manual labor. OK, Yolanda, you sent them out this morning after the talk that I gave last night. Let's go. OK, so craft to quit. We had a, a meeting last night and I got on y'all a little bit about sending those emails. So I'm glad for that. OK, DJ Taz, Andrea referred you. OK, well, stay tuned because I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask randomly because I want to make it fair. Um, I'm going to ask randomly who sent you at a certain point in time and the number of or the, the person that has the highest number of people saying, hey, Andrea sent me or uh, Amita sent me. Whoever has the highest number is going to win the challenge, but also win uh, or or if you already have the challenge, win the four hundred dollars in N8 Academy credit. All right. So this time I got a little help with calculating everything and keeping up with all the names that's going to flow across the screen. Just make sure that you're on the YouTube side, because if you're not on the YouTube side, I will not see your comment or I may not see your comment. And then I can't count that person's name. OK. All right. All right. So here we are. These are things that I do not have to touch. I don't even have to touch this shirt, y'all. Like I have it drop shipped by Printify. Um, 
I don't have to produce any of the things on my screen. I can literally take my time and make sure that I'm designing, 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 and use third-party printers to make sure that my orders are getting produced. Now, when it comes to crunch time at the last minute, um, for those type of products, you may want to make sure that you are making them hands-on, for instance, the shirts and um, maybe some of the, the party favors. If they come in last minute, you have to make those things. And the party favors in general, you have to make those things because your competitors are not quite ready. Your, your big box competitors are not quite ready to do all of the chip bags and the water bottles and that sort of thing. Okay. So you have an advantage over them by offering those type of products. All right. So I'm going to take these products and I'm going to name these drop ship because these are products that I could just drop ship. All right. Now, next, I'm going to pull the products that I pretty much have to produce. And like I said these are all my PNGs. So I'm going to go ahead and pick from here. So I, I was waiting on somebody. I think somebody did tell me what you're making because I'm going to basically pull some products that you're doing. So Amita already does the party favors. Oh, other treats and sublimation. OK, so. When you say all the treats, let me know what what treats, because I have some on here, but y'all may end up with some bonuses inside of the challenge. OK, so I see fans, keychains, T-shirt, pillows, napkins, frames, candy purses. Ooh, the candy purses. OK, so let me see what I have here already. I do have some fans and we have the fans that you can contour cut the rectangular ones and then also um the uh, circular collapsible ones as well. So I got a keychain right here. I'm going to throw in there. What else? Uh, do, 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 do. Now I don't have napkins. So customer happiness, can you add that to my list? Um, napkins, the candy purses, and I don't have the frames in there. So that might be something that may be going in the next one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and choose a couple things here that I know are very much a part of a lot of people's packages on Etsy that they're offering. And when I tell you that they're charging $3 for a bottle of water that I know is less than 40 cent, it's because it's got that that uh, 20 cent or maybe even 10 cent label on there. All right, so let's do the water bottle. I know the chip bags. What else for the treats, y'all? What else? I know y'all doing like Rice Krispie treats and this right here could be anything. It could be a Rice Krispie treat. It could be a, a Skittles bag, anything else. I do have some um, some different products there, but we're just using that as a representation right now. Uh, what else? How many of you all are doing this? Um, this money card holder, I thought about something the other day. And I thought that, you know, because usually the money card holder is something you just give to the grad like in a gift box. Well, what if at this particular event, what if you already you sold them the blank money card holder or the money card holders that are already printed and then you don't fill you don't uh, fill it. You let them put their money in there and put the uh, put it in place. Well, I think that would be a good party favor to offer because then they can take those and literally like just right on the back of them. If you do on the back, you do a matte instead of a glossy finish on the back. You can let them write their special graduation message. And then you could just have a collection of those money card holders. That would be pretty cool. Right. So I don't know if you want to offer those as actual party favors that would go to the guests and then they can fill them and then give them back to um, give them to the grad. I thought that would be a pretty cool idea. Uh, let's see. A gift bag for sure. Y'all could do a gift bag because this is also stuff that you're going to be giving to the, the people that are at the party. So we want to make sure that these are things that people can take home. They'll show off from the graduation. And you can also do the keepsakes like the keychain so that you give them a keychain and then it's something that they can they can have for the celebration. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the chips. The buttons, I think that's a, a popular one. Now we have the sublimation button and also the rounded button there. That fan, I think, especially if y'all doing outdoor events, I know people sleeping on them fans, but those fans, definitely people will take the fans and they will use them 
at any occasion at the outside because they can just put them in their pocket or in their in their purse. And those are going to be things that especially if you have your your um, you know designed by somewhere on there really small is basically going to be an advertisement opportunity for you as well. All right, so we got the gift box there too. So you may offer that as like a, a take home box for the guest. Uh, let's do, we got our Hershey bar there. And then again, I'm going to go with my invitation because I need them to know I can get them party ready. All right. And then for the plates and cups, things of that nature, I'm not that concerned with putting that on there right now because um, that's not my main concern. But if you do the plates and cups, I have seen people charging um, for one plate, one plate, one clear plate, two dollars and fifty cents for a plate that I know for a fact cost about 10 cents from the dollar store. OK, maybe 15 adult. No. 1.12 cent, you know, because now they're dollar twenty-five store. So our um, 12 cent. I don't know. I'm getting off on my math. 12, 13 cent. So they can sell it for almost three dollars. And that's because what they're doing is they're putting a printed image in the center of the plate. Well, the, the whole point of this isn't just to, so that you're sitting here manually just making stuff. The whole point of this is that you can use the same graphics that you use to make one shirt. And instead of just selling them one time on a $30 shirt, you should be able to upsell them on all of these different products. And then they can pick and choose the things that they want to see for the event. All right. So I'm going to take all of these things here and just go ahead and group them. Make them a little bit smaller here so I can see what I have going on. And just do a little bit of placement here. So this group, I'm going to put this one as party favors. Now, I want to know who's interested because I've been uh, working on some designs for the entry arches and um, and some other products. Are you all interested in that? Because if you're not really doing party, you may not be interested in doing the um, the stand ups or the standees uh, sort of things, the foam props that basically uh, you'll be able to market those as entryways. If you all do that already, let me know in the chat. And if you don't do it, but you're interested in it, let me know. Okay, the Pringle Cups. Okay, so customer happiness, do me a favor, please, and make sure that we are we're uh, taking notes on all of the things that folks are saying they want to make. Pringle cups, the Tic Tacs, the mini tissue packs, hand sanitizers, those things as well. Yes, Michelle. Um, let me know because I'm working on some. I didn't know how many of y'all are actually doing party stuff. So I'm curious because I want to help you all really streamline this process. Let me know if it helps. So Michelle, let me know since you make all of those different things. And, and I know that you have used the automizer. Would it be helpful to have an automizer that just does like all of the party favors? And if so, let me know about how much time you spend doing it right now. Uh, I'm, I'm not just curious. I want to see if this is worth me working on in order to provide as a resource for you all. Okay. Amita says, I'm definitely interested. Okay. All right. So let me know, Amita, too. You're doing all of these party favors. Let me know how much time do you spend designing for a package? Thank you. How much time do you spend designing for a package? And then let me know also if you have experience with the automizer or not, because I'm interested. I know Michelle does. I'm just moving stuff around. I'm just talking, y'all, just moving stuff around. I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Michelle says, yes, before I got the automizer, it took forever. <laughs> um, OK, well, I appreciate that. So I want I, I, I want to know if this stuff is helpful for you all, because for me, I hear the, the complaints and my main goal is to make sure that I'm putting you all in position to to win when it comes to resources. So, yes, I could sell something. But the idea is that 
if I'm helping you, then it's going to sell. Like, I, I don't worry about selling something because I know the, the value of it. So they say that price is only, only a problem when value is absent. So I want y'all to think about that too. When somebody's like, ooh, your stuff is, mm, it's it's expensive. Um, Okay, well, price is only, only a problem when the value is absent. So your value is you're giving quality design. Your value is that this stuff looks professional. Your value is you're going to have high quality results and you are going to be more likely to have their items to them on time than the average person that's basically going real, real cheap with their prices. Guaranteed, they're not going to be able to keep up with that. I promise you that. They are not going to be able to keep up with uh, with basically pricing everyone out. It's not possible. So just focus on your customers who speak your language. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And Amita, um, you said you purchased the vault, but you don't have experience. All right, Amita. So we have a class on Saturday. How many of y'all are here that would like to, if you even if you've never had access to the vault, or we have a platinum package that comes with the class on Saturday. If enough of you all say that y'all want to come to class on Saturday and get hands on this automizer, then I will. Let me let me think about it because I got Coach Najla on here. She's going to get me. I will do uh, during this live only discount to get into the class so we can help you get that all set up. OK, during this live only. And this is what we'll do during the next class. If you have the vault, I will help you set up the vault instead of the platinum. OK, that's what I'm going to offer this next class. If you already have the vault, I'll help you set up the vault instead of the platinum. If you don't have anything, you're going to get the platinum. So I'm talking with my hands right now, which y'all know what that means. That means I ain't working. So y'all let me know. If that's what y'all want. I'm sitting here talking, but I could be doing this a lot quicker. I just want to go ahead and get my, my items placed here. And that's why I don't know if y'all know this, but yes, I make things look easy. That's because my whole objective is to build your confidence. I make it look easy. I don't just make it look easy. I make it feel easy for you all because the resources are so, are designed to take your time and your energy and focus them more on your marketing, focus them more on getting more sales and not necessarily on sitting here doing the things that I'm doing right now. Because once I do this one time, guess what? It's a template, baby. And it's going to benefit every last one of you who have the template. So that's that's my whole focus. That's what I designed to do. All right. So I am turning off the eyeballs on some of these products here so I can see what I have. Uh, picture tassels. Oh, um, you mean like the the tassels that have the um, like the jewelry kind of hanging from them? Mm, OK. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. So what I'm going to do. Saturday, we have a class is one ninety seven. So during this live only since so y'all are here with me. And I only have about 10 minutes to spend with y'all because craft to quit. Y'all have a meeting. Um, Coach Chrissy's uh, doing the uh, crafting for cash tonight at eight o'clock, right? For craft to quit. Uh, Coach Naja, can you let me know if uh, that's still going on? Because if so, y'all got to get up out of here and be in the in the Zoom room at eight o'clock. OK, so basically, I got 10 minutes to offer y'all this. All right. Let me go ahead and do it. Let me go ahead and do it. Hold on. I was trying to get this design for y'all, but this is more important. All right. Uh, and let's do this. Okay. Y'all said it'd be great. All right. All right. All right. Now this is going to be for the next five minutes only. Well, I get, it'll be 10 minutes. Y'all got 10 minutes. Y'all got 10 minutes because I have to get off before eight o'clock, y'all. Y'all, y'all, uh, craft to quit. 
uh, my, my, my premium membership, they got a little hot with me last time when I stayed on YouTube and I was supposed to be in that Zoom room. Listen, ain't nothing like the people that you love being disappointed in you and looking at you crazy that'll make you tighten up. Okay. That's why I get on y'all too. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do, do, do. I'm going to do it for the one time. So I'll go ahead and bring up our one-on-one -on -one page, which is going across the bottom of the screen right now. Y'all can watch me. Y'all can watch me change it. All right. Um, you got your grad challenge right there. But this is what you all need help with right now with the vault. OK, so I cannot. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing I can't do. I cannot. I have promised my business strategist. I have promised my team that I will not mark down the graduation challenge because it's actually supposed to be going up. It will go up after tomorrow night because Sunday and Monday, if you try to purchase your tickets at the last minute, it goes up to 347 because that's the price it's supposed to be. Right. Just letting y'all know. And this challenge, I promise you, um, I didn't release uh, the, the template yet because I want it to be a major surprise for those of you all who are inside of the challenge. So. Just make sure you're inside of the challenge. Um, everybody else is going to buy it after the fact because I know, I know that the assets that are coming inside of this party challenge, everybody's going to want. I guarantee you that. Anyway, so I'm just letting y'all know that. All right, so let me stop talking. Y'all said y'all want this automizer in action class on Saturday. So when I teach you the automizer in action on Saturday, this is going to help you get your products designed and this will help you get all of your PNG elements. So I did not save all of these little PNGs in here. There's an automation that we've added to the automizer. So a whole nother level of, of innovation has been added to the to the automizer to where it creates all of these pngs for you all right so anyways let me stop talking let me go ahead and get y'all this thing uh products 413 automizer in action all right so for the right now and for the right now only i'm changing it to 97 dollars instead of 197 if y'all come to that, not only will we help you get it set up on your computer system, we do a share screen. You can tell us what's going on. You can show us what's going on. We help you through it. It's not just to do the automizer. It's also to understand how should you be structuring your files? How should you be um, uh, saving different files so that you can have one file for one school, one file for another school? How are you going to be uh, organizing your client's information so that you can easily produce these designs. Okay. Um, so we're giving marketing tips as well as how to use the automizer. So it's not just a simple, um, you know, oh, here you are. This is where you need to click and go. It is literally us sitting through this and making sure you understand the full potential of this tool. Okay. Okay. Sonia craft a quit newbie. Let's go. All right. Look, coach Chris is back. Y'all coach Chrissy says she is back in action. Y'all don't want to miss craft to quit today. That's why I'm not going to be here past eight o'clock. Because listen, y'all not going to be like, I was watching Shannon on YouTube and I forgot. Nope. All right. So. Mm -mm -mm. Where am I? Where's my automizer in action? Here it is right here. I just changed the price for y'all. So literally the products that you're going to you're going to get and make. Um, it's the platinum. Let me show you what comes in platinum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you all hadn't gotten the vault, it went up to regular price, $800. Like I promise y'all, I have seen people pay $400 just for the mock-ups that come inside of this automizer. So I like, I need to tell y'all like this, this automizer does way more than just mock-up stuff. It creates your printable files too. It also preserves the little PNG elements that you're going to use for your project. So please make sure that y'all, you know, take advantage of that. So in the platinum, I'll click on platinum here. They're actually, um, as there are two slides for the platinum. Let me scroll down here so I can show y'all. Mm -hmm. There is platinum number one. 
this is where you get you get the banner, the yard sign, um, and you also get the yard flag, the money holder. You get all of this just because you come to the Automizer in Action class. You get this Automizer right here for free just for coming to the Automizer in Action class because I want to reward the people who are willing to uh, basically put the physical time in developing their craft. OK, so you don't even have to have an Automizer to come to the class. I give you a free automizer that has about, let's see, how many products does the Platinum have? Platinum has 24 products on there, 24 mock-ups on there. Okay, the vault has, it actually has, um, so it has 70 mock-ups on the vault. Okay, so 70 is, is of course, a, a big number, but what I'm going to be helping you all do is making sure that it's set up and that you're going through your design process and you can get those um, get those set up on your system. So for those who have the vault, I'm going to show you because I haven't done this before. I'm going to show you because y'all have been questioning like, well, if I have the vault, do I do I literally switch up all of these designs at one time? Now I'm going to show you an example. OK, this came from the vault. I'm going to show you where it came from. OK, it came from the vault. Let me show you the vaults. Let's go up. All right. So this is Le Vault. Okay. So I didn't put all of these images um, on everything that I have in the vault. Why? Because I have a casket insert in there. I have grave blankets. I have luggage. I have all of these different products in here. I'm not going to design all of these products. But what I am going to do is I'm going to pick what products that I do want, set up a stage for that. Mm, I didn't think about doing the the on the road stuff, the license plate and the car freshener. I'll think about that next time. That'd be a good gift package. Anyhow, so from the automizer, I'm developing what I want on this stage. OK, this should, should look pretty familiar. Right. So if this is all I want to offer. Like this is not party heavy. y'all. It's not it's not party favor heavy. So depending on whether you want to do the actual party favors, which I actually suggest that you get into, I suggest y'all get into these party favors because if people are willing to pay 10 times the value of a bottle of water because it has a 20 cent sticker on it, I think we need to get into that bag. OK, um, and I'm just saying you don't even have to assemble the stuff. Coach Chrissy shows you on um, on the 20th. She's going to do a hands on uh, class where she's going to show you how to make all these party favors and also show you how she ships them because she doesn't actually do all of these package. What she'll do is she'll send them to them where the customer can um, can package themselves or she charges a certain price in order to package the items for the customer. OK, so learning all of that is a is a big deal, too. All right. So. Uh, this is what I do. I put my stuff on the stage. I don't even organize it yet. Like I just put everything that I know I'm going to want on this stage. So I'm going to show you all how to do that on Saturday. Put everything that I want on this stage. And then what I do is I create a save as version. And then I delete everything that I don't need off of the artboard because it's not my original vault file. OK. All right. So I need you all to know that you're. It takes, and, and just to give you an idea, it takes about, for this one, because this has a lot of products on it, takes about 10 minutes to for the automizer to do the work and go ahead and, and do all of my design for me. Literally, it changed it from this to this, okay, in five minutes. And then it took another five minutes for it to take all of this little stuff here and turn it into PNGs so that I have not only my mock-up images that I'm going to put. All of this is going on Shopify, y'all. This is how many products? Let me give y'all an idea. In this party package, there are 36 products. You know how long it would take, how long it would have taken me to design and mock up 36 products? But all 36 of these products are ready to go in my Shopify store now. I'm just saying. I mean, we could we could do this on Canva and do a versus and all of that stuff. I'm positive it will take you more than 10 minutes to design it all on Canva and then to mock all of those pro those 36 products up 
on Canva. I'm just saying, y'all. Anyways, y'all, y'all know. <laughs> Yes. And Cascadia, you do not want to do the entire vault. Now, if you're just trying to sh show every product that you possibly have and you want to do it in your brand colors, that's the only reason why I, I would say, yeah, go ahead and do the whole vault, because maybe you want to do every product in your brand colors. That's the reason why to do it. And when you do that, it takes about 20 minutes to do all of the 70 products in the vault. All of these products, it will do it in about 20 minutes, depending on the computing power of your computer. OK, so my computer has 32 gigs of RAM and um, it has at least a terabyte of space. OK, so I have a good amount of space for for uh, for Photoshop to do its thing. It's not the best because it's a laptop and not a desktop. OK, so that that even uh, slows it down a little bit. But to do all of the products here, if I want to do all of these products in my CMYK color scheme and then that way on my main page, all of my products kind of have the colorway of my brand. That's the only reason why I would do every last product here um, in the automizer. That's it. And it would be a one time thing. I wouldn't do this every single time. All right. Or if, if I'm doing a completely different layout and I want to capture that layout for the vault, I would go ahead and do a completely different layout where all of my stuff is all kind of different places. And then I would package that as a separate vault. But 20 minutes packaging that and then I can forever use that layout over and over and over again. You you cannot beat that. I promise you. I've been designing for over 20 years. I know I look like a little young spring chicken a little bit. You know, I just turned 40 on April Fool's, but uh, I have been designing since the 99, 2000. OK. All right. Anyhow, let me go ahead and see, because I only have five minutes to pick this winner. And hopefully you all are purchasing this class if you want to come see me and do this automizer on Saturday. OK. And Coach Des will be there as well. And she is phenomenal. Very patient. Y'all, we stay till the job gets done. Now, last time we stayed a little, a little too late. But we made sure everybody got it in and got it done. OK, um, so let's do this at this point of time. OK, at this very point of time, go ahead and let me know who sent you. And that's that's the only comments I should be seeing right now. Who sent you? Because the person who has the most shout outs will win a seat in the grad party challenge. OK, that is a three hundred dollar value right there. Two ninety seven. Y'all already know it's, it's that is the price of the challenge, but it's going to come with a ton of assets that you're going to be able to. If you can't make three hundred dollars off of what I teach you in five days, what the other coaches are going to instill and pour into you in five days. I don't know what you're doing. OK, <laughs> but that's not the case, y'all. Y'all have to go check out the results from the last challenge. Everyone was so engaged, so participating. And um, I'm, I'm impressed just with what you got done during those five days. OK. All right. So I got a Yolanda. All right, Yolanda. Whoop, whoop. All right. Listen, y'all only have two minutes to tell me who sent you because then I got to get off of this live so that Crafts to Quit can get inside of the Zoom room with Coach Chrissy and talk about these party favors that uh, they're about to be popping in May. OK. All right. All right. Y'all let me know. Yolanda. So far, Yolanda's winning. Yolanda is winning. Yolanda, go Yolanda, go Yolanda, go Yolanda. <laughs> Yolanda, we, we had a little tussle yesterday, a, a friendly tussle about these emails yesterday. So, and Yolanda won something yesterday. Okay. Rob Strong, you have two. Uh, where's it going? I don't see him on the YouTube. Nika Robertson. Okay. So have, have him come on to the YouTube and comment because I don't see him coming. They have to comment. They got to say something. They got to speak up. Nika, tell them to speak up now so you can get, get your reward. Okay. Monica, where you at? Why, Nisha, where you at? Nika said come through. Okay, Monica's on there. Look, <laughs> customer having this put it on the screen. So I don't see all these. I guess it's things floating, floating too fast for me. 
Uh, Sonia, the challenge is not full. There is still an opportunity. There are a few more seats. Now, come Sunday, Sunday and Monday is the last minute seats. And please don't wait to the last minute because it pushes us really hard at the last minute too to make sure that everything's ready for you. So please, if you wait to the last minute, it goes up almost $50. It goes to two, it goes to three forty seven. dollars Okay. That you don't want to do if you can go ahead and lock it in today. All right. Um, let me see here. All right. So customer happiness. Uh oh, we got two Yolandas. I don't know which Yolanda it is now. <laughs> All right. Angela Greer referred me. OK, so customer happiness. They are doing the due diligence of collecting these names because y'all already know when I'm doing all of this, my calculators in the sky. I ain't doing no work. OK, I'm talking. All right. So y'all caught me by myself last Saturday and y'all, y'all was rough on me. Y'all were rough on me. So now I got my team present. Okay. We got coach Najla and customer happiness in the building, making sure that whoever wins tonight wins. All right. So Andrea has to, and Nika, Nika has two, or does Nika have three now? I see Monica. Okay, look, y'all got one more minute because I got to get off this live. Who's going to win it? You got one more minute. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm going to throw, I'm going to sweeten the deal. I'm going to sweeten the deal. I'm also going to give you a seat to the Automizer in Action class tomorrow night with me. So you're going to be ready, ready. You're going to be ready, ready. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Okay. Okay. That's it. All right. So time is cut. It is 7.59. I now have one minute to tally up and make this decision. So customer happiness, drum roll, please. Do we have a tiebreaker or do we have a winner? Because we got to we gotta have a tiebreaker. Last time y'all got me, y'all not going to make me feel bad again. I felt real bad when, when we had the, the, the competition last time. I was missing names and stuff. Mm -mm. Okay, Curtis says, Ashley. All right. All right. Well, Curtis, you should have spoke up sooner because I already cut it off. David, why you ain't speak up sooner? Because we already we just cut it off. All right. So customer happiness, let me know. In the chat, look, look it's going to be on customer happiness to because whatever time I gave them timestamp. That's what they had to cut off. So David and Curtis, I appreciate you. Look, Ashley won anyway. Look, I don't even have to tussle with nobody tonight. Ashley, what is your last name, love? Ashley wins. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Y'all go ahead and clap it up and congratulate Ashley. Y'all do that for me. Come on, please. Good job, Ashley. I see you, love. All right, so Ashley, not only are you going to get, and, and Ashley, let me know. Ashley, and I know you you stay you stay in the academy. You stay doing your thing. Let me know. Do you already have your ticket to the challenge? Because if so, um, let cost, uh, customer happiness know. Okay, if you already have your ticket, then you get $400 credit. You hear me? Okay. And then also, if you, if you already purchased a ticket, to the Automizer in Action class on Saturday. Okay, okay. Okay, so if you've already purchased a ticket, we'll be able to tell because I got your Academy email. And Ashley, we know, we know, we know Ashley. We know Ashley Connolly. Ashley Connolly Blunt. I know you, baby. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to put you in both the, uh, both the challenge and the uh, Automizer in Action class on, uh, this is going to be on Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? You said you need it. Ooh, look how it came through. And I want you to, I want y'all to pay attention to something too. It came through by sharing. All of you all who shared tonight, even if you didn't win the prize, thank you. That means a lot to me that you trust me with your people to tell your creative people about me. That means a lot to me. So thank you. And as a result of your unselfishness and willing to help others, you got your blessing tonight. 
All right. So let me get off of here because I'm already late. 802 Craft to Quit. Get over there to the Zoom room with Coach Chrissy. I'm signing off. I have all of this stuff to get ready for you all. Y'all said y'all wanted these extra treats that I got to throw up in here. You said you wanted to do these entryways that I got to throw up in here. So I have work to do this weekend. Y'all hear me? <laughs> I appreciate you and I love you dearly. And until next time, bye. Good night. Good night, y'all. Congratulations, Ashley. Ha, ha, ha.